Welcome to MIC 70 News. I'm Adam. And I'm Courtney. We bring to you breaking overnight coverage. A search goes on for a recent Cryptosporidium parvum outbreak. Pools closed, schools notified, municipal water boiling notices posted on area homes. That's right, Adam. No new news to report. However, cases are still popping up. We're now going live with Carrie in the field. Carrie? <laughs> outbreak has taken its toll. Area homes have also received boil notices. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, water must be boiled for a minimum of one minute. We go to an area home to speak with one man of his experience. I delve deeper into the case. I found a gentleman living in Appleton who was willing to share more of his experience with the Cryptosporidium outbreak. Even though he was in severe pain, he still allowed entry to his home. I then continued to ask him how he contracted this disease. How are you? How are you? Oh, I've just been really sick. I don't know, I just, I went swimming and then, I don't know, just stuff's not the best. Yeah, I went swimming, I don't know. Yeah, you can come in, come on, oh, come inside. The doctor told me it, it should go away in a day, but I woke up, I took my kids to the local pool and I don't know, I just got really sick. I came home and I just started pooping like everywhere. Oh. They can't do anything for me. Uh, it's like, since I don't have an uncompromised immune system, it'll just go away, but I don't have time for that. I gotta work tomorrow morning. Uh. Labored, but still able to move, he continues to the garage to get at his stockpile of baby wipes. Well, even though he was in severe pain, he let me know that he had to go out and get more diaper wipes because it was too excruciating and he felt he may have a bowel movement. The information I've gathered throughout this investigation has led me to believe that even animals can be the reservoir for this disease. Those living in strict living quarters with animals can also catch the organism. I had a chance to speak to the owner's cat. Just before I were to leave the residence, he then had another strong urge to relieve himself. Hopefully this Cryptosporidium outbreak can be quarantined and handled so no one else gets affected. Remember, stay close to the restroom. Now as we can see, local residents have been affected by Cryptosporidium parvum. It's wiped out most of the community. Area schools closed, public schools closed, boil notices put on area homes. Now if you notice this right here, this is diaper wipes, and this is all that's been keeping everything that's running out 
from running all over. This is Adam Lang for MIC 70 News. Back to you. And what is in store for those who are hospitalized? We move now to our reporter Kristen at an area hospital who points out how crypto affects our patients. Kristen? Thank you for speaking with me. No problem. Uh, what kind of symptoms can an infected patient have? Well, the body systems that are compromised by cryptosporidosis are the digestive system, which is mainly the small intestine, and possibly the respiratory system as well. Symptoms of crypto begin within 2-10 to 10 days after becoming infected with the organism, with an average being about 7 days. Um, these symptoms are similar to food poisoning. Um, some signs of cryptosporidosis include a headache, sweating, vomiting, severe abdominal cramps, diarrhea, dehydration, and weight loss. And these symptoms usually last anywhere from one to two weeks to a month, which, and also it's important to stay hydrated because you are losing a lot of fluids. Otherwise, an otherwise healthy person can recover from this illness too. For those infected, what kind of treatments are available? Well, a healthy immune system will recover without any treatment. There is an option of using an anti-diarrheal to help with diarrhea, such as nitazoxanide, but most of the time diarrhea can be controlled with, by watching fluid and electrolyte bail intake. Um, for people with low immune systems, an antiretroviral can be used to help with symptoms. Most concerns are for people with low immune systems and for children or pregnant women who may become dehydrated. Although there are ways to treat cryptosporidosis, there is no cure yet for people with the low immune systems. Other precautions to take, according to the CDC, are along the lines of basic hand hygiene. Times that you should wash your hands include after going to the bathroom, before eating, before preparing food, after changing a diaper, after cleaning up a child that has used the toilet, before and after tending to someone that has diarrhea, after contact with an animal or its living quarters, and after gardening. This is Kristen Coletta from MIC 70 News. Back to Adam and Courtney.